Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle. I hope your body is ready to get pumped today because we've got a full body strength rip workout. This workout is beat driven, high reps, moderate to heavy weights so that you can become a fat burning machine. We are building muscle in this workout. This is a great workout to do two, three times a week, include it with maybe some low impact cardio so that you can get results that you want. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you want more content, you wanna help us create content, make sure you click that join button below. In this warm up, you can use between five, eight, or 10 pounds, depends on your body. I'm gonna be using eight pound weights in this warm up. I'll be using tens. <laughs> Roll it back. This is what I have. We got a deadlift. We're gonna bring it down towards those knees. Hinge here for four. Pull it up for count. Same move, but a two by two. In a deadlift, we keep the back flat. A little softness in the knees and look out in front. You only need to go just as low as your knees with the weights. Same move, three down, one up. And on that quick, you gotta squeeze your glutes and brace your core. Dead row, come down to the knees and pull once. Rise up. What I want you to focus on here is pressing through the heels and keeping length in the spine. We got more of these. Give me two more. And then we have upright rows. Come up too quick. And then we're gonna do a clean and press. Pull to the chest to push the sky. Upright row, two. Clean and press. Keep this coming. Upright. Clean and press. One more time. Wrist stay straight, eyes stay lifted. Hold here, squat, two by two. You can always bring the weight down if you need to. Press through the heels, more so on the up, and use your butt. Down three, up one, slow it. Press through those heels from the bottom to rise it up. Keep an arch in that low back. Two more. We're gonna be stepping out to the right a little wider. Step out, pause, squat. In and to your left. In and to the right again. Moving from that wide to narrow. In singles, find a space. Rise it up, come on. More, and then we're gonna bring it into narrow. I'm gonna drop my waist down. Keep the tempo. Narrow. Because you're gonna see these coming up in the squat track. This one you might feel your back just a little bit in that little round and low, but that's okay. Press it up, pull it up. Push. Bring it down again. Release it down. Do it again, pull it up. Push it up. Release. All the way down, dead row slow. Two counts to come down, pull to the belly, release, rise it up, do it again. Take your time. One more of those, dead row slow. Two quick upright rows, pull it up to the chest. Clean and press to the sky. Upright. Push it to the ceiling. Two more rounds. Remember, we're warming it up. Press. 
keep that weight tight to the body. Clean and press. Coming back down, dead row three. Come down and pull for three. Yeah. Back is flat. Now stand it up. Dead row for three. Rise it up. And we are warm. Yeah, nice job, you guys. We're getting ready for, I thought it'd be fun to do lunges. So we're going to get ready for lunges. I'm going to go moderate, 10 to 12. So I'm going to start with the weight up. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Take it down slow. Four count. Rise up, pushing through the heels. Down two, up two. Drawing the belly up and in. Protect your low back. One more time. We're going to stagger down to the bottom. Three of these here. Come down. One, two, hold. From the bottom, halfway up. Eight. Oh, we're going to warm it up right away here. Toes forward, knees track your toes. Pushing through the heels. Breaks on the bottom. Up three count. Here we go. Right leg back, two by two lunge. Option to drop the weight. Roll the shoulders back. Pushing through the front foot. You got two more. Take your time. Melt it down. We're gonna do four quick pulses, hear it. Down a three count, let's go. One up, 16 quicks, go, push. All right, you just got that 16 here. Then we take a little breather and we do the other side. Well, actually we take a little, not breather. Eight more. You are bending that front knee. Both knees kind of bend, but make sure you're pushing away in the heel. Two more. All right, weight goes down. Are we ready for this? Shake it out a little bit. We're gonna be stepping it out, watch this. And then we have options. Start with this, step it out. Two more. You ready? Jump out or step it out. Out in. Two more. Jumping jacks. Are you ready? Let's go. You're up. Eight. One slow. Two quick. Now jack for two. Out in. Two more. Hey. Relax. Nice job. How'd that feel? Woo, great way to get warmer, right? Get back into your weights. Eight, seven, six, stagger. Squatting down. Hit four, three. Take it down three count. Let's go. Hold. Halfway up. Are you ready for this? Chin up. Hold at the bottom. Listen, take it up. Left leg back, two by two. So lean a little bit and then push away. Just like if you're at the gym, you're doing that leg press machine. Two more. Listen for it. Pulsing for four, right here. Down three, up one. Single it out, 16. Now, when you come back to this workout, you can have a little change in the lunges, right? You can step it in with the back foot. You can even double time this to change the variation a little bit. Spices, what's nice. Four more. And now you know what's coming up. Are you ready for it? You're ready. 
All right. We know what's happening now. Are you going to turn it up one notch? Yeah? Yeah. You at home. Get ready to step it out first, but stay low to get out. Two more. Out in. Big jacks, take it up. Low, come on. Too quick. Stay low and then rise it up. You're done. Nice job, get some water. Whew. This is just pure squats, this track here. So I'm gonna be using 20 pounds. We do have a variation of going from that wide into the narrow. If it, you know, there's three rounds. So if you get a little fatigued, drop one weight and continue to go through the movement. Get yourself into a squat position, about shoulder width apart, weight up or down. Four count, drop now. Push through the heels, rise it up. Eyes stay lifted. Do it again. Guess what's coming? Super duper slow. Eight counts to the bottom. Yeah, we're gonna stay for a while. Push it up slow. Is that hard? It's hard to go slow. Two by two. And again, we want moderate to heavy load. Come to the bottom and hold it. Four, three, halfway hold again. Bottom hold. Halfway hold. Drop it to the bottom, hold it. Slow to the top four count. Take it out wide. 16 singles. You can turn the feet out if you want to. That's what I'm gonna do here. You can put the weight where you want it. Trying to drop butt to knee height. When you drop, you inhale and brace in the waist. That's gonna help your back. Narrow, I'm gonna drop my weight. Like you're picking things up off the floor. Very functional. You gotta keep your eyes up. Eight more. So this is that round one. We're getting to the end of it. All right, shake it out. Weight comes up. Ready? Slow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Slow again, up here. Eight. Two by two. Not too wide. When we go heavier, your core has to work more. Woo! Drop and hold four count. Chin up, halfway hold. Brace your core. Push your booty out. Drop hold. Halfway. Down hold again. You did okay? Top four. Wide, go. Now I hope you're kind of gritting your teeth a little bit, right? That you're pushing yourself into a little uncomfortable area. If you're not having heavy weights at home, you can always double time this. You know what's happening, narrow. Go. Pick it up. 
Maybe you squeeze your legs a little bit. Mine like to touch all the time. Eight more. Woo! And then we're gonna just shake for a moment and then we're stepping it out to the right. We're gonna slow it down. Hold it. Step, drop, come on up. Other side, drop, push it up. Step it in, out in three squats. Three. In and to the left. Good to move. All right, shake it out. Whew. Drop and hold, you ready? Halfway, round three. You know what that means? It's the end. Oh, I changed it. Rise it up. Drop again, slow. Push it up for a count. Wide, go. Are you holding that breath at the bottom? If you got light, you can double time this. You doing okay? Yeah. Narrow. Breathe in. Oh, it sounds like you guys need a little extra challenge today. What do you think? You know what I'm gonna ask you? To double time the last ones. I'm gonna do one weight. Double time, let's go. Squeeze your legs. Done. Oh, that just took it to another level. Give it a stretch, right? Swing in your waist. You do a straddle stretch if you need to. Oh, I need a little stretch. How are you? Right, your low back was working hard. Oh, take a couple of deep breaths. Ooh. And we're gonna give it a break though. Guess what? Chest track. We're gonna be on our back. We have chest press. I'm actually gonna face this way because I don't wanna hit stuff behind me. We do chest press. Then we have where we decrease the load. I'm using five, just so you know that. We do fly, and then we do a fly with a slide. So know your shoulder. I'll be saying the word slide and fly. So hopefully you can hear the distinction between the two words. So come on your back, moderate weight, have something lighter for the fly. Start with your weight up, knuckles up, wrist is straight. Keep it wide for more challenge. You can use a bench. We're going to start with a two by two. Drop from the top, down, push. If you have a bench at home, you can be on your bench. Hey, you could be on a stability ball. We're gonna go slow, four counts to the bottom, melt it. Push it up, remember stay wide to make it as hard as you can, like you got a barbell. Or maybe you do have a barbell. Keep them melting, you got two more of these. Take your time, time under tension. We're gonna work the bottom half, down halfway up. Again, minimize the movement. Maybe you brace your core and your pelvic floor. To the top full range, you got eight. Maybe you close your eyes. I am using 15. And then I'm gonna decrease into the fives. Maybe you got five or eight. All right, we're gonna switch it, come on up. Whew. 
So again, we're gonna start with the fly. We're gonna be opening up into that T in eight, seven. Softness in the elbows, just right over the chest. Open up two counts. Squeeze to the top. Know the range that's good for your shoulders. Brace the core and your pelvic floor, ladies. Open up two counts, then slide back. Reach it back. Open out. Now hug in. Do it again. You feel that? Know your shoulders. Maybe they're up higher. Fly quick. They're quick flies. Open and close. Four more. We're going to open up two, then slide it back. Slide. Out to the T. Hug it in. I bet you guys back there are wishing that you had your fives. Right? Well, we all are fives. Or I thought somebody had eights. <laughs> I scared them with this, right? See so if you can go a little faster. Here we go. Open, slide. One more. All right, we got a quick transition. Come on up. You got eight, seven. Get those heavy weights, please. Weight is up. Four, three, two. Drop it two by two. Wrist is straight, knuckles up. Check that position of the arms, and then check your core and your pelvic floor. Slow, take it down four counts. You've seen a lot of slow movements so far, right? You got two more of those. Oh yeah, you feel that chest now? We're gonna work the bottom half right now. Press through the heel of the hand, relax your fingers just that little bit. To the top, full range, here we go. This is it, and then we go right back into those lighter weights for the flies. Rock it up. Woo, oh yeah. Second round, you definitely feel it, right? Look out, Diana, big ant coming towards you. Oh, he's just gone, he just went the other way. Weight is up, no distractions, right? Open up two count, it was humongous. <laughs> Woo, it's like the size of my pinky nail. You will rise above it all, right? Open up slow, two counts, slide back. Back out to the T, give it a hug. We're gonna do two more of these to that same tempo. Brace the core as those arms go back. One more time. Single flies, we got eight here. And if you want more tension under time, only go halfway up. That can make it feel a little bit more challenging. We're gonna open up and slide, quick, go. Open, slide. Two more. Drop to the chest. Oh, that's it, nice job. Woo, give that chest a little stretch if you need to. All right, open the arms and T. Rotate, nice job. Here's what you're gonna see in the tricep track. We're gonna start with push-ups. There is a drop hold. There's only 12 push-ups, but they're gonna sneak up on you, especially after the chest track. We got skull crushers on your back, and then we're gonna either come onto one knee and do kickbacks, or you can come on up. And then we're gonna do some planking. How's that sound? 
Sounds good. So first movement is tricep push-ups. Go ahead and get into your tricep push-up position. Hands inside the frame of the body. Knees or toes. Drop pause. Push to the top. Drop hold, put on the brakes, and then push to the top. Just two more of these. Eight singles. Here on your knees, pull your heels through your butt, lean a little bit into those arms a little bit more. Thirty-two count to get to skull crushers. I'm going to be using my twelves. What do you want, Diane? You got the tens right there. On your back, eight, seven. We got a three in one. Arms are up. Bend at the elbows. Three counts to the back. One to the top. I like to rest the weight kind of into my pinky finger. How about you? So you go right to singles. Eight of them. Oh yeah, I can already feel it. How about you? Right after that tricep trap, it's like a super set going on here. Two counts down, two counts up. Drop hold, four count. One, two, three, four, and up. Down and up. Dramatic pause. We build strength there. Round two, skull crushers, three in one. What I want you to do is really brace your core and your pelvic floor. If you want to add a little bit of layer, legs can come up. With bent knees. Hit the singles. Ooh, I'm pushing. What did I grab? I grabbed 12s. We got a two by two. I hear us breathing hot, heavy. Drop hold, here we go. Bring it up. Grit your teeth a little bit here. I'm feeling this. Oh, one more time. Kickbacks are coming. Woo! I think I'm gonna use fives just to be safe. Woo, yeah, so that I can get range. I'm gonna come to one knee and drop my chest right over that thigh. Lock in the elbows. It's the same pattern. Three and one. Bring it back. Take your time, right? I really want you to get those arms straight and then bend at 90. Hit those singles right here. Tend to C. Right, we want to just kind of throw the weight. Don't do that. Try to lock it in. Mindfulness in the movement. Two count. Take it up. Uphold. Do you remember the pattern, right? Because we got one more set after this of the kickbacks. Three in one. Now you could change the hand position. I might change my hands a little bit. Palms are facing up. Get some different fibers, right? Single out. Can you fully extend your arms at the top? If you cannot, right? Maybe your weight's too heavy. Get the range, that's the change. Two counts up to the top. Uphold, you know. Liza, I saw that. Yeah, how about you at home? Did I catch you doing something? One more time. All right, breather. Woo. All right, come into a plank, please. Woo. Move the plank, come down, elbows. Come on up, do it again. Switch that arm, elbow plank. Woo. Push that elbow a 
again. Walk it down. Other arm. Do it again. All right, can you drop hold of that tricep press? Drop down. Hold. That's it. Woo! Oh, you're waiting for something more, right? I don't have anything more in those triceps. Give them a good stretch. Ah, oh, they were shaking. Nice job. So I thought it would be really fun and just to switch up to do legs and more lunges. So we're going to be doing a stepping back lunge and then we're going to go no weight. We're going to do a forward lunge with a knee drive. If forward lunges are not for you, hey, then you go backwards. But you end up coming forward anyway, so you might as well try them. <laughs> and then we just do forward lunges. Again, if you need to just go to the back. I'm going to use 15 for the lunges. Stepping back and in with the right foot or stay. Right foot, step back and in. Four. You can move or not, so you can stay. Step in, switch. I like to load at the top sometimes. Step in and switch again. Four and four. Or you could have stayed on one leg and did eight, right? Are you doing math? Switch. Step in and switch, three and one. Stay here, drop here. Make sure your feet are separated. In your lunge, we can always hang down low, or you can have a bar at the top. Two by two. Push through the heel. And then I want you to think about the butt. Tighten it up as you push away. Top half, eight singles. So you really have to think. Top half. Not into the knee, to the heel. If you're in the knee, check your posture. Now the bottom half. Wiggle your toes for a moment. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We all just went, whoa. Eight singles. <laughs> yeah, see, I thought this would be fun. <laughs> Four more. And then guess what? I'm going to do one weight because we're going to double the time here. Are you ready? Pulse. Oh, yeah. Good to have variety, though, right? So many times we do all these arm workouts. Your legs are really important. They're the biggest things here. Relax. Get ready for the other leg. Oh, come on, you gotta balance it out with the other leg. Eight, seven. Three and one, ease into it. All right, I better not be hearing moaning and groaning going on in your house. What's going on back here? Two by two. All right, make sure again, push through the heel. Top half, just eight. Yeah, we need Anna here. She be breathing really heavy. Breathing heavy is good for you. And help stoke your fire for weight loss. Bottom half. A lot of people don't breathe deep enough through the day. We're always stressed out. Oh. You stand low. Full range. Yeah. Remember what I said. We're going to be doubling this up. I'm gonna drop one weight. Double time. Yes, you can. If you don't make it through this first time, maybe second time, third time you come back, you get this. Come on. Done with that. If you wanna be crazy, you can add a light weight. Woo, watch, remember, here we go. Forward, tap. 
and then switch. Tap her knee. Give me more. Drive the knee up, use your abs. Let's see a hop. Oh my gosh, just four lunges. Right, left. Good posture. Keep the chest up. My legs. How about yours? Put the brakes on, hold here for three. Three. Down back home. Three left. Come on and single out. Just eight. What's going on here? Check it out. You can always add weight next time you come. That's it. All right, these guys need high fives after that. Way to push through it. Way to persevere. Yeah, spaghetti legs coming on. Nice job, you. Give yourself a quad stretch. Oh, take a breather. Oh. Oh. Second win. Oh. Yeah, that was a break. <laughs> yeah, that was an arm break. This bicep track has a row curl. That is optional. If you're feeling any tweaking in your back, by all means, just stay up and do a couple extra curls. Or don't do any extras, and you can just stay with us. I'm going to be starting with 12-pound dumbbells, and I might drop. You never know. It's always good to have options. Roll your shoulders back. Grab the weights. Palms are up. It can be a barbell. Fun song, especially after the legs. One and three. When you come to that top, you gotta squeeze. Relax the fingers. Two by two. You can step one foot back. Elbows are not back, right? They're just in line with your shoulders. Row, curl, we come down and curl for three. We bend three times to the shoulders. Then we come up. Watch the knees, keep them separated. Step back two by two. Keep your core braced, eyes are lifted. Row curl, hinge. Take it up high. Now come low. Slow, four count. Do it again, slow. Squeeze and then release. Row curl. Got three of them. Come on up. Two by two. Take it up. Oh yeah, third time. Start to feel it. Oh yes. I hear the real curl right here. Step it in. Singles right here. Stand up. Singles. Eight. Break is coming. This is only a 16 count. One more. I'm going to put down for a moment. <clears throat> All right, grab it. Roll the shoulders back. 
A little longer. Yeah, that's all right. Bottom eight. Halfway up. Real curl. Come down. I don't even have to tell you. You know now, right? Halfway up. Singles. Feel that pump? Row curl. Bring it down. We are so close to the end, you guys. Row curl. Seven. Fight it. Go come up. One more. Woo. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Wasn't it? That was so good. Give it a good stretch. Backtrack coming up. This backtrack has deadlifts, dead rows, and reverse flies. So I'm going to be using 12 and then 5 pound weights for those movements. Grab your weights, moderate. Roll the shoulders back, open up your feet. We got a four by four deadlift. Slide it down, back flat. Take it up, four counts. Do it again. I sure hope you can hear us. Take it up. You're grinding some trees around here. Four counts. Didn't check in with me today. Take it up, four count. Same movement, two by two. Now you don't keep you don't need to come all the way up straight. So you can keep a little hinge front. That's gonna keep more tension on the back side. Low back, hamstrings. Look out in front. Pulling the belly in, protecting your back. Slow to the knees with a slow row. Bring it down. Pull it in. Let it go. Rise it up. Dead row for three. Drop. Rise up. Dead row one. Come up and do that again. Dead row one. Come down, give me three. Pinch between the shoulder blades. Bring that singles. Come on up. One more. Slow, clean. Hold it. Push it. Bring it down. Release. Again. Quick. Take it up. Keep the clean and press. We're getting a little shoulders. There's no solid shoulder track today. Because I gave you extra legs. Clean and press now for three. Right here. Release. One more time. And then we're back to round two of the deadlifts. Set those legs, set the arms two by two. Roll for a moment. Do it again, another roll. Two by two, push back. Remember, you don't have to come all the way up. I'm staying slightly forward. Take your time, really melt. You can even have a little dramatic pause at the bottom before you come up. Take it down two, hold, and then give me that row.
Dead row for three. Coming up. Make it a single. One more. Give me that three. Single. Slow clean it up here. Push. Take it down. Release to the thighs. Keep it tight to the body. Up and pause. Push. You ready? Pick up your tempo. All right, keep this now. We got three at the top. I hope you're pushing. One more set. And then we're gonna drop to lighter and go for some reverse fly. Nice job. How did that feel to you guys? I think that felt great. But you at home. Just shake a little bit. Alright, we're gonna fly. Drop the chest a little bit. Two by two. Open up to T. You gotta take your time here. Keep this. Now, if you're finding it gets hard, then turn the hands and do almost like a little row. Right, you can do that position. Stand up, shoulder roll. Top half go up. Stay top. Ooh. It gets a little bit harder, right? Pull your chest up a little bit more. Give me more again. Pull the belly in, fight the gravity. All the way up. Woo. Roll the shoulders, do it again. All right, do you think we could do it again? I think we don't have to do that again. We're all the way back. Oh, we are done. Face down. We could have done more. I was looking at Diane like she knew the choreography, right? Wasn't I? I was like, Diane, what are we supposed to do? That was plenty. We're moving on to core. Come on your back, look at the sky. We're gonna be tucking into a ball and then extending out. Tuck into a ball now. Reach out. You can reach or keep the hands behind your head. Tuck in and reach. So when I tuck in, I'm gonna pull the knees towards my shoulders. Feels good in the low back, right? Four more. You're welcome for the back stretch. Feet go down, head goes down, hands behind the head. Everything comes up, two count. Stay up, just push the legs out. Bring the knees in. Drop everything down. Everything up. Legs go away. Bring them in. Drop them down. Hands up, bridge, take the hips up. Interlock the hands, drop the hips, crunch two to the center. Arms up, bridge, two counts, take it up. Crunch two. Hands go down, right leg lifts up, bridge lift, eight. We got two rounds. Round one, we're doing this leg. Round two, we'll switch legs. Everything tuck in. Take it, everything up. Push the legs out. Bring them in. Take your time. Release. One more. Oh, 
bridge. Arms can interlock, lift up to counts. Crunch center, look through the legs. Bridge. Crunch. Oh, that's so good for your spine. Switching legs, arms down. Single leg bridge lift. There's so many great moves in this core track. It's really all the entire core here. You got a lot of glutes today with all those lunges. Four on plank. Rock it up. Woo. Take a moment. Adjust anything you need to do. We're going to be dropping the right hip down and up. Just the right side. We'll do eight. And then we'll do that left side for eight. Find your form plank. You can always have the knees down. Right hip drops. Right hip. Pull up and in. Always take options to drop to the knees if you need to. Switch that hip. Planking is so good for your arms and your core. Pulling up and in. Using that transverse abdominal. Holds your guts in. Listen up. We're going to be lifting the right leg up and down. Keep the plank where one knee can go down. Lift it up. Pulse up. Up. You can drop that knee on the other side and still work. Switch. My knee is down. So if you didn't look at the screen, you'll know. We're ready to do a super hold. That means we're going to be a superwoman or superman. Come on down to your stomach. Open the arms and legs. Lift them up. Isometric hold. Strength and stillness. Come on, lift up, lift up. Every cell in your body is working right. Up dog. Ooh. Shoulders relaxed. All right, curl under here. Knees down. Now, you can be on a quadrupedal. Hands and knees. Or lift the knees. We're going to try to do an opposite reach. You ready? Here we go. Turn it up. Reach one arm leg. And switch. Just remember, if you need to, drop to the knees. Keep it coming. Come on. Is that what your body is saying, right? <laughs> Four more. Release. Nice job. Oh, yes. See, we didn't need to do shoulders. We got them hit. Child pose. Take a breather. Oh, super job today. Come all the way down onto your stomach. Let's do quad stretch. I am not a stranger to the dark. So I'm going to reach back for the foot. Pull the heel to the butt. Relax the head. Use your breath when you recover. Switch the legs, reach it back. Are you singing the song? Reach back for both. You grab both feet. Little boat pose. Push into those legs. Open up the chest. Oh, so good for the shoulders. Release. And then push yourself into child pose. 
I'm not scared to be seen. I make no Step one foot forward into lunge. And then sink the hips. Knee can be down. And then add a twist, right? This is what they call the world's greatest stretch. You want to be taking the knee off, you can. I like it's down. I'm going to do a spinal twist. Release, pulling it into straight leg pyramid. Back into the lunge. Step back into plank. Down dog. Other foot lunge. Drop the knee. Sink into the hips. And then add twist if you want. into your pyramid, straighten it out, pulling that back foot in. We're going to face you, straddle, stretch, open up the feet, dropping the chest between the legs. Bend the knee, step in, roll it up, cross leg back, hip flexor, or we call it the IT band, actually, the IT band, side stretch. Switch legs. Gotta wipe the sweat out of my eyes. All right, take it out, around the back. Open up the chest. Do that again, round forward. Open up that chest, relax. Big inhale, have that gratitude for this amazing body, for all that it just did for you. Touch your heart, take a deep breath here, and let it go. You guys did amazing, be so proud of yourself. Throw your arms up and say yes, right? Yes, high tens, yay for me. Thank you, ladies. You at home, thank you. Do make sure, thumb it up, comment below, share this with a friend. All that stuff helps other people find this. And then we're just gonna keep on bringing you great workouts, you guys. If you want more content, or sometimes you've seen things that were live and then they're gone and you're like, wait, I wanna do that workout. Check out the MB exclusive membership. Join button below if you're on a phone. I keep telling you this, go to your PC, get on the newsletter, michellebriller.com, and you can get all that right to your mailbox. You guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you back on this mat. Take care. Great job.